Today on the 5 Minute Saltwater Aquarium Guide, we're going two steps further than any other cycle video, not just making the tank safe for fish, but showing you how to completely avoid a whole slew of challenges new reefers run into, the easiest and most stable path to success, all that's coming up. Hey, I'm Ryan, your host of Beerus TV and the 5 Minute Saltwater Aquarium Guide. This is a clear, simplified and direct path to setting up that first successful reef tank. It's time to talk about cycling a reef tank. There are two challenges here. The first is fish release toxic ammonia into the tank through their gills and waste. Ammonia also builds up from uneaten food breaking down. So the first step of a reef tank cycle is eliminating ammonia from the tank, and that's today. The second challenge is reef tanks have super bright lighting, which is prone to growing pests like algae in brand new tanks. So the second step of cycling a saltwater tank is setting the tank up for success and avoiding many of those pests. That's in the next episode, but these two steps combined is a holistic path to cycling a tank where I strongly believe your initial success rates will double, if not triple. So let's cycle these two tanks, starting with that first part, eliminating toxic ammonia. The reason it's called the nitrogen cycle is because there's a few things happening here. The ammonia from the fish is processed by bacteria in a much safer nitrite. And then a new bacteria processes nitrite into nitrate, which in some instances is processed by another new bacteria into nitrogen gas and bubbles out of the tank into the atmosphere where the nitrogen is used by new organisms. The nitrogen cycle or this process feeds most of the life on the planet, but we use it in our tanks to rapidly eliminate toxic ammonia. All of this is based on naturally occurring bacteria and it's going to populate your tank on its own and do that for you. In fact, you really couldn't stop it if you wanted to. Most of today's episode is just about how fast that happens. There are a dozen ways to get the cycle going, eliminate ammonia and get the tank ready for fish. If this is your first rodeo, simple pass with the least frustration often have the highest success rates, and success is our primary goal here. In that spirit, one of the highest success rate pass that I've seen is add a hardy fish like a clownfish and then protect it by adding a bacterial booster product to immediately elevate the bacteria populations that rapidly convert the ammonia and cycle the tank. Dr. Tim's one and only Microbacter 7 or Microbacter Start are all options for that. They're all slightly different but work in similar ways. Dr. Tim's and Microbacter Start are the fastest ways because they're all live bacterial cultures. Dr. Tim's one and only is the one that we've used around here the most, probably 100 tanks over the years, and I don't think we've ever lost a fish to the ammonia cycle, but I could probably say that about most of these boosters. These bacterial booster products just work really well. We're using Dr. Tim's here. The four ounce treats up to 60 gallons. I wouldn't undersize, but you really can't use too much. Add your first clownfish and pour in the entire bottle. The tank now has adequate bacteria for the fish and will populate the rock surface. The bacteria population will scale with the amount of fish you have. As to how long this will take and how to know when it's done, good practice is pick up an ammonia test kit and test once a week. The Red Sea test kit gets the best reviews and what I would use. Once the tank is reading zero ammonia for a few weeks, it's ready for the next fish. However, rather than just waiting a few weeks after ammonia hits zero, best practice is also pick up a nitrite test kit and wait for that to hit zero as well. At the same time, safe nitrate will start to show up on your nitrate test kit. You can be sure that your cycle's done at that point and ready for the next fish. If you want to test for all this, the Red Sea Marine Care Kit will give you all the cycle related kits you need. Just a note on this process, this is the only time that you'll ever use many of these test kits after you confirm the cycle is done. The ammonia and nitrite test kit will go into storage for the next tank. After the cycle is done, it's safe to add another fish every few weeks. After you have a few in there, it's typically safe to add a couple at the same time, but with bigger fish, I'd still go one at a time. Now that the tank is ready for more fish, it's time to talk about the second stage of that cycle. This is the stage where if applied right, you can dramatically reduce the chances that you run into algae or other pests in that first year. All that's coming up in the next episode. The entire saltwater aquarium guide is always available here, but if you want to know how to completely avoid all the challenges most reefers run into, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and it's all right here.